Hello and welcome to Sovereign RPG. I am Sovereign and today I'm going to teach you how to build a pyramid, at least the foundation of the pyramid, and then you can put your own flair and your own mix of things that you want to put on side. I haven't fully finished this build. This has taken me all day. And yesterday I did a lot, for the past two days I did a lot of grinding to get the stone and everything to get the building parts and they're still building, like I've got it set on a circulation of getting 200 to 300 every eight hours while they're gathering the stone and everything that's needed to make these stone pieces but i'm going to teach you how to get the actual foundation down so you know how to get like you how equal it has to be and you can start from there and then we'll show you how we build up to the point that we've got to now and i'll show you how to do some of the things like these towers for example with the saber tooth statues on top of it because uh, I still need to finish off some of these towers over here and over here and we'll start working on the top and I'll show you some of the inside because I, I haven't decided exactly what I want to do and maybe if you guys let me know in the comments what any ideas that you might have to make it look better because I'm not too sure if I like the slope roofs maybe I'll change it to the slope stairs but then I kind of wanted it to contrast a little bit so I have the stairs in the middle and the stairs around the bottom and that but we'll, we'll see how it is let me know down in the comments what you think about this so let's get like straight into uh okay let me just uh because I'm carrying all the heavy stuff god this thing gets stuck on everything what are you doing my main character is just sitting there in the bottom corner just in the way i'm just going to show you quickly what we have on the sides here so we have on the front door i'm using the two statues and i created these using pillars and walls i'll show you how to do that because there is a way certain way you have to do it and i did put a stone gate in there that sunk in a little bit to make it a little bit smaller so i didn't have to make a 50 by 50 pyramid and it goes all the way around now i did put inverted stairs in there so it breaks up the whole sides a little bit because we have to put the towers in still and i have to add that in and i'll show you how to do that in a second and we have the walls with the slope walls put on the side here uh, and let's head inside the building now i did actually put some roofs uh flooring on the top here with some walls to break up as well to break up a little bit so it doesn't all look like one sloped piece but it's still kind of a bit much so i might need to do a few things there so when we come inside this is the inside now i had to put these walls here to build up uh the stairs etc and put in the corner walls but there is something i'm going to try to maybe open up this room a little bit more because i'm going to have this as a big entry room with some pillars and fires etc um and it's going to be going on there and we have these sort but at the moment they're kind of like set in as stairs so this will be the stair where it goes down and i'm going to put some walls up on here and uh so sort of fill it out so it looks like a sort of catacomb rather than just open like squared buildings so as you can see at the bottom here i've done everything in wood because it, i mean it's like it's a lot of bloody resources there's a lot of floors um i will eventually change it all to stone but what i did underneath let's just jump off real quick and i'll jump in and we'll go underneath and i'll show you if i'll be able to get back out let's break this up oh god because we broke that it now uh broke the other piece and we'll put a set of stairs in here so we can get out of the bloody water so underneath every couple of like every two to three we have pillars now these are wood pillars because i have surrounded the entirety of the bottom with stairs so you can nothing can get inside they'll have to break in to though get into those stairs themselves just getting stuck on bits of wood that's in the ground i'll break that eventually so we have stairs all the way around i do actually have a set of stairs that i must have accidentally placed in here we'll get that and keep you thank you very much but it goes all the way around the base all the way to the bottom and i might turn this into some kind of water feature somehow on the bottom floor uh maybe have it to look like a kind of pool feature or something like that like take the middle out and have stairs going around it into the water and then put some flooring on so you can walk around in there kind of make it look like a bath to make it look more lived in now this is an 18 by 18 pyramid it is still quite large and it's still taking a lot i still haven't like i got to collect more resources over the next day or two to fill in these floors etc and we have to get some pillars in to be able to fill in the ceiling there i have put this uh, bonfire in here just to as a placeholder it's not going to be sitting there it will be up on the main floor when we get into the entrance in the middle and i'll make it look cool but as you can see here the actual stone gate has dipped a little now it does that when you place it on the floors so when you place it on the floors it can dip down to make it a little bit smaller if you place it on the floor it will actually be this part will be the bit that touches if you're doing it on the ground so it's a hell of a lot taller so with that out of the way let's show you how i sort of did some of these tower things so with the uh i started with the uh, 18 by 18 square bit of wood and built that out here starting off by making sure that i had the two sets of stairs as the first mark that goes off of my village base the village base we have here let me close this 
So that green line's out of the way. Everyone's being pretty lazy right now. I need to update some of the crafting stations. But I made sure to put the two stairs in first and then built out, built down, and then built the 18 by 18 all the way around. Uh, so when it comes to certain parts like this, if you wanted to build a tower, something like this with the statues on it, you actually have to start off with a floor and then you have to put the pillars first. For example, let me just chuck some pillars down. We have some pillars here ready. We'll put this here, here, and you can't put a pillar down when it's intersecting something. So it cannot collide with anything. So I'd have to, if I wanted to put this here, I'd have to break this piece, this piece, and this piece. So when you're actually building the, like using pillars, if you want to have it sort of give it an accent. Now that's why I did this, to give the squares a bit of an accent on each corner so it doesn't look like just a box. So I did this first and then you can place the walls down in the place where you want to put it. And it has this much better look rather than sticking these walls down here and it just looking like a square box it makes it look a little bit better at least in my opinion let's pick these bad boys up and yes i'm using my hammer properly this time i made sure to try to remember to do that as in other videos i keep forgetting to bloody do it every single time so when you have this box all set up and done remembering you, you can't intersect like you cannot collide the pillars with anything if you want to do what i've done over here with this part you can actually just go up one like this now you won't be able to fit a ceiling a floor piece on top a standard because it will just get stuck over on those top pieces so what you want to do is put a wall in and then you want to put a ceiling in and you can get your hammer out and break the wall and the ceiling stays there and then what i'm gonna do is have a staircase going up here for example so i can put the um flame here like a, a standing torch so it looks like a heat tower and i'll do the same with those ones however uh, because there needs to have access. So because I'm going to be building gates on each of these sections here, I'll show you in a second what I mean by like sinking into the floor a little bit. Uh, so when we actually put these in, and I'm not going to put statues, the statues are only going to be on the main gate. Uh, and these will just have uh, the fire pits and I'll place the fire pits in the center over here and it's easy to access as well the stairs are there so your guy that's taking care of your camp upkeep is still able to do that now I'm just going to do this one quickly so I don't forget we'll put the wall in and we'll put that there and then we take rid of the wall and it leaves it open. I do need to put another ceiling piece in there. There we go. And then obviously we'll be putting the stairs and then there'll be the tower. And you can even, if something like this, you can, instead of doing this, if you're on a PVP server, if you want to look kind of like snazzy a little bit and build a pyramid instead of a standard base, which probably shouldn't because it will be very difficult, um, you can put the ballista towers up here. So what I'll do in this part when we're doing the walls, etc., I'll go to this part here and we'll switch it around using the mouse wheel and we'll build that in there and we'll do the same on this side. So it fills it in and it makes it look more built and lived in. Now to make it more because of my OCD and stuff, I'll probably do it like this as well. And then we'll put another piece in there, hold Z down to go across and then go back and we will go there and then you can access it from both sides now what i wanted to do over here just to fill this in if we go to number nine i wanted to do this and fill these in here just to make it so it doesn't look like you should access that now i'll still be able to because you can just jump straight over but it adds a little bit of accent to it and what i'll probably do with these as well to make it a little bit nicer is stick these here like that and have the brazier inside so it gives it just a little it adds a little bit of a nice touch to it so i'm gonna stick it on the other side over here because i'm always looking when i'm building stuff i'm always looking for ways to make it look slightly better so what i'll do here i'm actually going to build some doorways into here so i will actually get rid of this piece here let's get rid of this and then i'll put a doorway in here and we'll put some walls so i'll go and get press z down to get this part swap it over and then I will get the door frame and stick that there like that. And then have two more pieces here so we can have it go over and the doorway will just be able so they can come out here and refill the fires on each side. I think that makes it look a little bit better. See, when you're building, you just always be ready to just make some changes. 
if you make some changes, it, it can end up looking better if you just put that little bit extra effort in there. I know some of us, including myself, I don't like to actually, um, like once I've built something, I'm like, oh, I want to change that, but it's too much right now. It can do things like this and it just adds a nice little touch. So if we look down from the bottom now, I've got no, none of the fence pieces left. If we look down from the bottom now, it actually gives you a more, like a better look and it's going to look even better when the fireballs are inside of there. I'm not sure if what which fireballs are put in there, but I'll put the fireballs in there and it's going to look really really nice so remember when you're building the flooring inside here's a little trick when it comes to putting the like the ceilings down or the floor pieces if you have things like this walls for example walls in this game count as pillars so you can actually put this down here say for instance we're doing this here and we can go out see if, and it's going to go red here you can't place this anymore but when you attach a ceiling to say, for instance, here, you can now build here. It counts as a pillar. So if you've got walls all the way around and you, you can put some walls in your building rooms, etc., you can actually don't have to put these pillars down. It will then count this ceiling piece. It will count that wall. It will count the roof. It will count whatever it needs to count and it will build out and you'll be able to place it down. You don't need the pillars, which is actually really nice because I like to use the pillars as an accent. For example, I'll be doing that here. I'll be putting pillars up here to give it squared off look and then we'll put the doorway into the stairs and then I'll put some like a roof across and then it will look, close this off so it looks more like just a stairway where it doesn't have all of this kind of thing here. And there's other things that I want to build inside. Now I might move all of my crafting stuff in here. So don't want to go, this entry area will be kind of like the central hub area. And at the top, I'm actually going to be building a big dais type pedestal type thing. So I'm going to just jump over here quickly. So there's going to be a set of stairs, two, two, and two going up to a pedestal, which will have the teleporter on top. And we'll have it kind of have some towers like we have here. And we have on the corners down there and give, put some stairs on either side to give it more of a look down there. Because you can see the towers actually look really nice with the stairs and the, uh, the tri uh, triangle... Uh, the wall pieces sorry triangle wall pieces make it look a little bit better now there's always this bit on here as well when you're building the walls this actually sticks out the triangle sticks out this is stairs to attach to the next piece of wall because you can actually run along the stone walls now i haven't done that on here because i think that would look a little bit much of that going all the way around the edge although it could look pretty cool i don't know i might try something like that in the future where did me bloody llama go there we go because we're doing the gate next so we're going to put these gates in and i'll show you how to have actually place these because the collision is no longer an issue there was an issue with collision before but right now there's no issue with the collision so we're going to stick these in here so you can have to make sure when you oh god i just pressed the wrong button just touched it down but that's why the hammer is such a bloody good thing you can make sure that you're just either side you just look at the lines on the left and the right and you can see that there's just a little bit of touch so you don't have anything out there would be perfect and you have it straight and you just put this see the far ends of the door itself is just hanging over the edge there a little bit and i'll just pop it in there now this gives it kind of the wall even more of an accented look which looks really nice and luckily we can place the doors still and it won't look so bad when it opens up because in the bottom there will be where the doors open up inside however it kind of gives it a really nice look especially when we have these two towers built here and we're going to build these two towers out with the pillars out now i will need to pick this up again because i need to place the pillars here like we did with the other towers and then put the fire braziers on there and have entrances to get inside so we can they can actually be like um filled up and then we'll have the door going with the stairs outside here and then uh they'll be able to go up those stairs fill that one go down the stairs up those stairs to fill the one over there so they have access to everything so a quick recap of what we've done on the base so far on the base of the structure it's an 18 by 18 square and we did pillars every third pillar now when you're doing the pillars on the floor yes you have to do pillar every second pillar but we also learned that you can do use the walls you can use the stairs you can use the roof pieces to put ceilings out and it can counts as a pillar you also need to remember that pillars need to go down first before you put the walls if you put the walls down you cannot put the pillars on top of those walls and i just fell bloody through the roof and also you have to remember that when you're putting gates on flooring for example the flooring that you use in the game it does dip in now i will square this off and we'll have it sort of have the ceilings going across and i have this like as a maybe a vault section or something like that to put some metal vaults in there for all of my items that are like the crystals and stuff like that uh, and we can sort of in this part here i'm going to build a big square shrine over this side which i think will be really really nice to put the uh, sarcophagus and the decor table 
table to be able to create the mast and stuff. I really hope you were able to find some inspiration in building your pyramids and being able to set the base up for the pyramids starting from the bottom up. And I'll be doing another updated video on how to do the whole thing. And maybe I'll do a stream one day on how to actually like to just building it for a whole stream for a few hours. I'll get all the resources and stuff ready and then start building it. It does take a long time. So maybe I'll have to take one to two to three streams to complete something like this in a big build. Like uh, I want to do the build on the cliff side and build a village that goes up on the cliffs from section to section using stairs, etc. to get up there. I think that'll be really cool. I might do a stream about that at the weekends, for example. Let me know if that's something that interests you. And I hope this was able to help you in certain things that you're doing with your base. Maybe you want to build the towers on your base of a different design. Maybe you want these kind of towers not on and you want it on a bridge, for example. You can do that. You can build the bridge that goes across on the stairs going across the river and make it look really nice like this. I really like the way it looks, although the roofing pieces might be a little bit of a problem. So if you have any ideas, I don't really want to turn it all into stairs because I think that'll look a little bit much the same so uh when it's finished i will be posting a video with a full base tour for the next one and if you need any more advice and guidance let me know in the comments join my discord if you have any questions free free i'm always there and i'll always ask and answer sorry and i want to thank you all for watching this is sovereign rpg i am sovereign your one-stop shop for all of your survival gaming goodness fly safe and avoid local chat scams